Yo, yo, boys, Phase Doritos here. Decided to make a YouTube video today on macros. I had some people ask me some questions on my Discord. Hey, yo, bro, like, can you help me with some macros and stuff? So I decided to do that in a video today. So let's get straight into it. So let's go straight to the beginning parts here with Fear 1, 2, 3. I like to use Fear Arena Target 1, 2, 3. By the way, with these macros, I'm not going to put them in the description unless the macro text is kind of hard to do. So, yeah. All right, so let's get back to this. So CQS, I put that before a lot of macros where I want to prioritize the spell. CQS basically cancels everything that's like uh, what you're pressing before the spell. It'll cancel it and go straight into what you want to press importantly. So I put that in, in a lot of spells that are important to prioritize. Like Fear, um, I don't put it in my CS because it's off global. But let's get into CS real quick. So you see how CS has a uh, target arena equal arena one. You could do that or you could do at sign and then arena, but that's the way this is. And by the way, when you put a spell lock in Command Demon, it's because when you have a pet out, the spell is different than when you sack the pet. So it'll be like, for example, I have an amp out right now. It'll be Singe Magic Command Demon ability. But when I sack it, it becomes a completely different ability. So it's good to have the spell name and the Command Demon in the macro. So I use Arena 1, 2, 3 for my CS. And then I use um, Imp dispel macros for my teammates because when you play into teams like hunters you want to be able to dispel the trap so you can keep your teammates ahead or if you play into pallies yo pallies are actually a big thing right now and pallies are going to be going back in the meta so i'd recommend people to start getting back into using imp a lot more into games every time you reverse a pally switch to imp put your healer in the dispel macro pay attention to his um cc that are magical that you can dispel and try to get them off cd now let's get into defensive cooldowns. My defensive cooldown macros are the CQS and then Dark Pact, which is pretty simple, straightforward. I do this because I want to prioritize it again. Same with Wall, same thing. Now let's scroll down to this macro. This is the only macro I'm going to put in the description below because basically it's just like a ease of access macro so you don't have to keep dragging Hal on the bar if you switch to Quail or vice versa. So if I go to my talents real quick, I'm going to open my talent tree and I go Hal, look what happens. Pay attention to my coil on my action bar here. There you go, it becomes how. It's pretty cool. So basically, whenever you have a different talent, it'll switch it for you so you don't have to do anything. So that macro will go in the description below. Now for the next macros, soul burn macros. I like to use demonic teleport as a thing. So I'll soul burn demonic teleport. Look what happens. You'll see my Tofi, uh, Tofi, JCD, whatever the fuck. So look, I'm going to press it when I'm in range. Oh, I undone my... That's weird. I tilted the keys undone. I'll just press it manually. So as you can see, Soul Burn and Teleport happen at the same global because Soul Burn is on a different GCD than Portal. So you could use both of them at the same time. So I would recommend putting Soul Burn in the same macro as your Portal. Now for the next macro that I like to use, it's a Soul Burn... Where is it? Healthstone. So my health stone is also with a soul burn because soul burn is off GCD. So I'll health stone and soul burn at the same time to always get that better version of your health stone and the better version of your portal as well. Now with the dots, I do soul burn on my dots because I always want to have my health, I mean my soul burn active when I drain life, for example, or anything else like that. You want to be able to get that extra shield when you drain, which is always insane. Now for um, macros right now, that's currently all I use. And the next thing that I could teach you guys about that I like to use for macros is more like a keybind. So I'll go to my keybinds here, and as you can see, target arena. I use the target arena ZXC to target people in arena. And the, another important thing is targeting arena pets and stuff like that. You could do it through here, I think. Oh no, they don't have it here. Well, you could always go to your macros, and the way that I target arena pets is I have a macro that has target arena pet one two and three because sometimes there's not an available arena pet one so you need two or three and you can press the macro multiple times and target the pets so i have it in different lines like that my current bind is shift r for that and what i do with it is i just like target pets dot pets cc pets etc it's always great to have a really insane resource so i'd recommend having an arena pet macro so you don't have to try to target it by clicking it it's so clunky it's awful anyways boys for macros that's pretty much all i use for now thanks for watching if i add any new macros i'll put it in the updated video in the future ask any questions you want on my discord i'm there 
Like, comment, subscribe. There's going to be more videos to come. All right, boys. Peace out.